That's right, it's your boy, Akina309, back here with the Pikmin 2 gameplay, definitely for the first time, because I definitely didn't have a first worthless recording session for 30 minutes, where I didn't realize that it wasn't picking up my mic. Thank you, OBS, very cool. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of money. There's a Pikmin, bro. Could these be Pikmins? They look like they were about to be devoured as we speak. Yo, they forgot their training, bro. Why look at why is he looking at him like that, bro? Louie, what's your deal? Huh? Get on that. No, don't no, he doesn't need help. Get is this part? It is. Oh, we got 35 on that? In these caves, time simply doesn't pass. But these, this right here, now we got an orange. That's 180 Pokos. This, this citrus lump right here, this is Pikmin bread. These little guys are, uh, these, these guys are chonky. Our debt is within Happy Hokutate's savings and loan, after all. Besides, there's nothing left to repossess, so ha! Oh, now what are we looking at, bro? Yeah, we got the awakening wood. I guess we gotta go here now, bro. Guess we gotta go, right? We gotta go. Look at this place. We got all kinds of shit going on. And we got bulborbs out the wazoo over there. Good morning. It should please you to note that the purple Pikmin are lodged safely in my hall. Stand in the ring of light below me and press A to call the purple Pikmin the purple Pikmin out. I can't speak. I'm after all I'm a Pikmin guru, not a speech guru. Alright. Take out the purples. We need all hands on deck today. Uh I guess we can always get some more red Pikmin. Get off of that. Get off of that. Greetings, everybody. This is the uh, editing Pikmin guru here. I just want to uh, deliver a formal apology by voice. Um, yeah, so this ship in Pikmin 2 just does not shut up, like, ever. It gets really annoying, and I just want to apologize in advance because you are going to hear those noises that he makes uh, nonstop for the rest of this, like, for the rest of this whole series. So, uh, sorry, but uh, I gotta deal with it, so y'all do too. Uh, see ya. Yeah, you can just swap back and forth between Pikmin. Which gets very helpful when you get more color and more Pikmin. But yeah, uh, purple Pikmin are broken. Because you can just kind of... Yeah, it, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, and if you thought that was bad, uh, I hope you're ready to witness what we're going to do to this poor ball board right here. Yeah, purple Pikmin are obscene in this game. I didn't even have to fight him. I just pressed A a couple of times and he was gone. I, it's it's funny, don't get me wrong. Per combat in this game becomes quite purple Pikmin centric in um, the case of like 70% of enemies, if not more. Uh, so just get ready for a lot of pi purple Pikmin slamming on the ground. Uh, oh, we got a strawberry up here. Uh, can we get this? Get on that, boys. All right. Also, uh, purple Pikmin are uh, really, really slow. So I get used to those guys lagging behind a lot. Let's see if we can get some nectar for him at least. Drink up, boys. Oh, shit. Yo. He's, he's eating today, bro. He's slurping that shit up. The Pikmin that drank the yellow nectar instantly matured to flower Pikmin. It appears to have enhanced motor skills. What a wondrous nectar. Like plants, Pikmin mature from... Oh, uh, he's he's going way too fast. I'm not even gonna try to keep up anymore. I'm too tired for this, bro. Yes, yeah, so now these pur these flowered purples are just so much faster than they were before. Now, and it's like blatantly obvious, right? Oh, we get a strawberry back to the ship. Let's see what this is worth. 170 pokers, bro. That's bread. Let's go. Ooh, 10% of our debt's been recovered. So sick, dude. Speaking of bread, we got Pikmin bread to get a hold of now. What if, oh, we got these berries. Oh, shit. These guys. Get those berries, bro. Beat the shit out of them, bro. These Pikmin are going ham. Let's carry these back. Oh, they're making it back. Yep, it, it, it sure is. Astounding. This red berry contains an ultra spicy essence. It does not appear to have any monetary value, but I shall research potential uses for it. Bring me more specimens. Okay. 
Captain Alamar, my research on the red berries you discovered has yielded a powerful potion. Behold, the ultra spicy spray. Although it is untested, I believe it will have spectacular results. Spray it on all your Pikmin by pressing down on the D-pad. Okay, those berries just regrew instantly. So cool. And yeah, we got a hold of another ultra spicy spray real quick. Hold on. We can get some more berries on deck. Also, Pikmin, when they're done with things, are a lot uh, more... They're a lot more prone to come right back to you if you're anywhere close to them. Very helpful, let me tell you. And just like that, we have another nectar. All right, or another uh, another spray. I guess I can show you guys how this works. So, uh, we've got an enemy chilling on the ground right over here. Let's spray it up. Now, I'm usually going to save these for boss fights and things like that, but uh, just, just to demonstrate, you feel? Astounding, the heads of the Pikmin are glowing and they seem extremely agitated. The Ultra Spicy Spray appears to increase Pikmin's speed and attack power. What a discovery. But yeah, uh, these guys... They will do a lot more damage now. Like, those were all reds. You saw how they ripped through that guy. And uh, that's good because we're gonna have a fight right here with this guy. Come out of the ground, idiot. Come on. Get him. Beat his ass. Yeah, uh... <laughs> Ultra Spicy Spray is really good in this game, huh? Yeah, Pikmin move like, look how fast they're gonna move. They're booking it. <laughs> yeah, it only lasts for like a minute or so, but during that time the Pikmin just gets like mad strong. It's so funny. It's very good for like certain boss fights where you don't like, where you have like very brief windows to attack on. Oliver, we have a problem. The onion has ceased ejecting seeds. Is it malfunctioning? Now seems the number of life forms in the onion has increased. Did you, didn't you note that no more than 100 Pikmin will venture out onto the planet at once? But I currently observe only 95 on the surface. Could there be wild Pikmin somewhere? Ain't that a head scratcher. You boys want to pick it up? Come on. I also find that the whistle works a lot better in Pikmin 2 than it did in Pikmin 1. So again, if you guys watched the Pikmin 1 series, first off, highly recommend. So good. Shit was a great time. But, um... Yeah, in uh, in Pikmin One, for some reason, sometimes the whistle just like doesn't pick the pick the Pikmin up right away. You playing Minecraft? I like it. Bro, come you... back! <laughs> but uh, in this game, I find it works a lot better. It's a lot more immediate. It grabs them a lot quicker. Here is our next cave. Biological sensors are reacting violently. The readings are ominous. A beast of unknown power lurks in these depths. A large Pikmin group would be reassuring. But we do have 95 Pikmin, so, you know, I hope that's enough. My sound sensors are picking up hostile roars of many beasts. Expect dangerous encounters. Sensors are also showing extreme heat pockets. You may need flame-resistant Pikmin. But my records indicate no such data. Are my records incomplete? Well, I'm gonna be right back. I gotta grab a beverage. Ah, oh, your boy's back. Let's cop the Mountain Dew. It's getting a little bit late, you feel? The energy's draining a little bit, and I'm kind of parched, you feel me? Alright, let's get into this cave now. Here we go. So this is cave number two. Let's get it. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's just the same thing. Just get on this real quick. Get off of him, bro. Let him, let him go. Got one. No more. No more deaths. The Stone of Glory. It's... It's a GameCube D-pad. Hear that? That's the sound of success. We got all the... Th we got everything. Alright. The Hole of Beasts. Uh, let's see what the Hole of Beasts has in store for us today. Get on that. Yeah, we got Nectar. Come on, boys. Drink up. In this game, for some reason, Nectar can split between an obscene amount of Pikmin. Like, look at that. I had, like, two red flowers before. Oh, shit. Here we go. We got more purple flowers. Now we got ten more purples to add to our army here. We got roughly 20 purples. Now we can really wreak some havoc, bro. Everybody drink up from the Nectar. Oh, the Hole of Beasts, sub-level three. Here we go. Uh, oh, right. Oh, we got fire geysers. Uh, so... And if you remember Pikmin 1, fire geysers just, like, meant no other Pikmin could go through there, really. But in this game, uh, they actually have, like, health bars, and Red Pikmin can just destroy them. I don't really need to destroy all these, but, you know, it, it'll just make things easier, uh, if I have to carry anything back. 
on that, boys. Now, what do we have here? Oh, what is this that we brought back today? 150 Pocos? We got Pikmin Bread! Strife Monolith. Brought back another thing. Now what do we got, bro? Yo, look at this, bro. Insane. A cosmic archive. I'm around a sub-level 4 of the whole of beasts. There's so many sub-levels, bro. Right. And now we're all stacked up on the flowers. Gotta go that way eventually. I think there's a treasure down there, but for now we gotta get rid of this guy right here. He's just so uh, just so we can't cause a scene potentially. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, what Purple Pikmin can do in this game. I'm not saying I agree with it, but I will say that it makes things quite easy for me. Yo, we're boosting that shit. <laughs> Scooping up the beasts, bro. Oh, what is this that we got for back now? 280? Bro, that's so many pogos! It's a dream architect, and it's it's just a game to watch. So sick. Oh, we got another purple flower, nice. Pick up a few more purple Pikmin, because you can never have too many purples. Uh, that gives us 25 purples. That's kind of a lot for this early row. Uh, that's always good. You do not want to lose these guys, because there's very few flowers for them, like, scattered throughout the caves. Super annoying if you lose a bunch to get more. Uh, get a guy on this. Oh, it's a, literally a one-piece, bro. It's, I mean, it is just a playing card. Oh, he's trying to help. He's doing his best, bro. He's trying so hard to help, and he just can't get to it. They're blocking him, bro. They won't even let him try. 140 for a playing card? A luck wafer. Every Pikmin we have is a flower. It's so beautiful. Alright, oh, final four of the whole beasts. Oh my goodness. Yes, uh, this is what we'll usually have at the end of every cave. We're going to have a boss. And this is a, uh, a notorious one. Yeah, this is the Emperor Bulblax, and uh, nobody likes this thing. But they're not the Emperor Bulblax, the Empress Bulblax, I'm sorry. It's the Empress Bulblax, not the Emperor Bulblax. That was at the end of Pikmin 1. Still having Pikmin 1 flashbacks, apologies, fellas. Uh, that boss uh, really ruined my day. But uh, yeah, this is the Empress Bulblax, and uh, we have to wake it up. Back up, back up. Just get on him. Get on him. Come back. Everybody come back. Come back, bro. Come back. Come back. Bro. I am playing. Come back. Yeah, because this is its main attack right here. This is uh, really annoying because uh, it just slams into the walls and it's just super obnoxious. Fuck him up and get his ass. Get him. Get him. Come back. Come back. Oh no. Oh. Holy shit. That was a lot of Pikmin. How did that many get back there, bro? Hold up real quick. Real quick. So you want to know something funny about Pikmin 2? Uh, it saves after every single floor. So if something catastrophic like that happens because uh, you blinked and 40 Pikmin died. Uh, you can do that. You can reset the game, jump back in, and it will put you back at the beginning of the floor again. Which, uh, will come in very handy. Because I, in spite of being the Pikmin Guru, am not free of making mistakes. There we go. Alright, come back, come back, come back. Need that shit happening again. Make this nice and quick. Come back, come back. Okay, yeah. Because you want to call them all back before she does this nonsense. Because uh, this can, like like you just saw a minute ago, kill a lot of Pikmin really fast. And that's really bad. I think I can kill him this cycle, though. Oh, shit, no, come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh, I lost one. No. You gotta- Oh, one of them ran back in there. Why'd you do it, buddy? I tried to call him back, bro. 
Get him, get him, get him. And just like that, the Empress Bulbax goes down with only uh, two Pikmin deaths. Absolutely never any more than that. What are you talking about? I lost 40. How bizarre, this device is emitting black light. What an absolutely repulsive life form. Our return to Hokitate cannot come soon enough. Yeah, I agree. The Empress Bulbax is fucking ugly, bro. That's not even the last we see of that freakish thing, bro. When will we see it again? Who knows? You guys don't get to know just yet. You gotta stick around and watch the rest of the series to find out, you dig? Yeah, that's right. Just because I'm a Pikmin Guru doesn't mean I'm less of a content creator. I can plug my channel. I know how. Yo, 200 Pokos. That's bread. Prototype detector. This contraption seems to react when it approaches treasure. I will connect it to my radar. Processing complete. The treasure gauge is now fully operational. Yes, this is an interesting little um, a treasure that you get early on. And now it adds this little um, meter to your screen down at the bottom right. This appears, um, this is always on your screen now. And um, as long as there's treasure where you are, uh, whether this, it's above ground or in a cave on a certain sub-level, it will light up as you approach or get farther away from a treasure. And uh, once there's no treasures either in that area above ground or on that sub-level, uh, it goes gray. And that's how you know. Uh, so you don't just have to listen for that random sound in the background. Yo, we got 1127? We got bread down there, bro. And the cave complete first try, because I'm the pick me guru. Only three deaths. So nice, dude. Alright, yo, now we got 20% of the debt recovered. We're making moves out here. We're helping the president big time, bro. Rack up some Pikmin real quick. Get some Pikmin bread. The day is running sh The day is, uh, running out of the time here, so we're just gonna try to scoop up some extra min and get out of here. So, you, yeah, it's lighting up as we go over here, because there's a treasure up here. I mean, the command feature is even better in this game, in terms of just, like, moving Pikmin around, except for when they do that nonsense. Uh, no, I can't get that right now. Super cool, thank you. Just gotta make check. I don't, I don't want to leave no Pikmin behind that or this early in the game, you dig? I think we can just safely end the day right now, because this, uh, this is pretty good. Alright, yep. Uh, we're getting out of here. Because again, like the ship said earlier, uh, we don't actually have a limited time on this planet. We have as many days as we want to. So honestly, if we just want to end the day a little bit early, uh, time is not necessarily of the essence anymore. Alright, look at all that bread that we got today, bro. And these Pikmin are racking up the Pikmin. How's progress, Alamar? Remember, you'll never get anything done if you sit back and watch from afar. Be sure to hold R occasionally for a close-up view of the action. Alright, let's run up some more of this shit. More Pikmin 2 coming your way. That's right, it, it is in fact Pikmin. The second one, actually. Day 4. Dude, this game takes so much longer than Pikmin 1, bro. <laughs> this game takes so long. It's okay, though. I love this game. This game is so amazing, honestly. I love this shit. It's great. Alright, let's get the boys out here. The first day where we were able to st actually start out the day without hearing the fucking ship do some yapping. It's not about that, honestly. Bust out some purples. There's a treasure that's up there, but I need yellows for that shit, so I'm not getting that right now. Uh... Oh, son of a bitch. That has, uh, poison clouds on it, so I can't do that. My Pikmin are just gonna get lit up trying to do that. Yeah, this is the... This is this is what's next for us. Crush that shit down, purples. Y'all got it. Never mind. Uh, a bunch of the mist. Come on. Oh my god. Thank you. Let's see... See if this joust might pop out of the ground. Got his ass. Goofy ass pit. Goofy ass enemy. Nope, we don't need that. We don't need that. Come on. Yeah, we got another cave on the radar. Hold up. My metal detectors are reacting violently. What could be down below? Yeah, I'm not pressing start pause, bro. I can I can deal with it. You gotta chillax. Now we're going to the white flower garden, bro. It's down here. Wonder what could possibly be down in this hole. Oh shit. We got boys. We got boys on deck. Oh shit. You guys gotta go. 
it's it's just I'm just getting rid of them. It's wraps. Get out of here. I cannot have these sheer grubs eating shit up, bro. Can't be having this. No, we don't need to be carrying that shit back to the ship, okay? Listen. Okay. Oh, what do we got over here? Get some heads on that. What else do we have around here? I don't think there's anything over here. And oh, camera's bugging out. Uh, and that's just the way down. Yeah, I think that this is a really short first floor, huh? Only 80 Pokos? That's like not that much, bro. That's not as much bread as I was hoping for. But that's okay. We got more treasure down in this cave. It'll be alright. Yo, when did I lose a Pikmin, bro? We lost somebody down there. Unbelievable. Alright. Now what? Oh my god. We got this idiot over here. Stun his ass. Beat his ass. Oh, so, thank you. Could I switch to purples, please? Thank you. Would be ideal. Hope we gotta get some heads on this ship. Just beat his ass. I don't want to see him around here anymore, bro. Alright, now we're back to the ship now. What? What is this? What is it gonna call this one, bro? 100 Pokos? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Petrified heart. Yo, what do we have over here, bro? It's another bottle cap. Man, I actually, like, it's been a long time since I've played Pikmin 2 on the GameCube, I'm just realizing that. Like, I've only ever really played it on the Wii a lot, because that was the version I had as a kid. Like, I've had the GameCube version before, I've messed around with it, of course, but, like, I don't know if I've ever completely, like, beaten GameCube Pikmin 1, Pikmin 2, so, uh, I guess we're doing this now. All the drought enders. Yo, it's a Dr. Pepper cap! We're making a little bit of bank down here, that's good. Sub-level 3, come on. What else is down here, bro? Yo, what is this, bro? What do we have down here? How can a flower so deep underground bloom so robustly? How mysterious. This place is conspicuously warm. Could it act as a kind of hothouse for foliage? Who knows, bro? I don't know. What an interesting development. The Pikmin look as if they long to be tossed into the flower. Okay, yeah, I am going to just, uh... Louis, hold onto the purples for a second for me, bro. Get in there, boys. Okay, or don't. That's fine. He, he did not want to be thrown into the flower. The rest of them did, except for him. Alright, let's get the heads out. Yo, what do we have here, bro? Yo, who is this little man, bro? Incredible! A white Pikmin! It is tiny, but looks distinctly swift. Its eyes are an unseemly red. This type of Pikmin was not mentioned in your notes, Holomar. It must be a new type. Our data record on this type is a blank page since a certain captain never documented them. Alright. Get the boys out here. What the hell? Oh shit. Yo, the white Pikmin are digging, bro. What are they doing? Holy shit. Amazing. The white Pikmin have unearthed a treasure that was completely buried underground. Perhaps those beady red eyes of theirs allowed them to sense objects buried in the dirt. No way, dude. Holy shit. Uh, I don't think there's anything else around here, huh? Let's so get this guy. Well, what do we have now? Only 80 Pokos? That's like not that much, bro. A Super Stick Textile. What a name, bro. It's like 80 Pokos is not that much money, bro. We gotta be bringing in some big numbers if we want to be paying this debt off anytime soon, you feel me? I just feel like 80 Pokos at a time ain't quite cutting it. We need some bigger numbers out here, bro. Let's just keep on trekking. Oh shit, now we got all kinds of- we got Poison Geysers at the fucking wazoo now, bro. 
white Pikmin on that. Oh shit, no, come back, bro, come back. Come back. Why'd you throw a red Pikmin, bro? Told you to pick the whites up. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, yo. Get rid of these poison guys. I do not need to be losing any Pikmin down here, you know? I already lost one for no reason. Oh, what do we have now? What's this that we have in front of us? 90 Pokos? That's still not great, but it's, it's a little better. Survival ointment. Bro, I got the chapstick. I'm gonna tell you what, it is winter right now. The air is so dry, chapstick is a necessity for your boy right now. This is the exit down to the next level. So we gotta find the rest of the treasure on this floor first, bro. Yo, oh. Damn. I was like, where is this thing, bro? I'm just running around in circles for no reason. Sure, I really don't care. Okay, I guess we're just, uh, we're not throwing anybody else up there. That's it. Get some heads on that. There we go. There we go. Got a mushroom, bro. 30 Pokos. That's like literally nothing, bro. That's absolutely nothing. We gotta be bringing in some bigger numbers if we want to be paying this debt off, Olimar. You gotta find some better treasure, dog. Let's just carry on to the next floor. And now it's the final floor of this, this, uh, this cave. Come on. What boss is this again? Oh, right. Yeah. Now I remember what it is. Hello. It's this son of a bitch right here. The burrowing snaggert, bro. We got another one of these motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> no way. Everybody run, run, run! No, don't. Actually, it's fine. You can get the nectar. That's cool, actually. Kind of want that shit right now, actually. No lie. Hey, where is this idiot gonna pop out? Get his ass, bro. Beat his ass. No, we're not losing no Pikmin to this idiot. Or at least as few Pikmin as humanly possible. Oh shit, he got a hold of some boys. Bro, beat his ass. Beat his ass, though. We drained half of his health with that shit, bro. Everybody just beat his ass real quick. Beat his ass real quick. Actually, that's doing fucking nothing. That's negative damage right there, bro. Yo, how did he not die, bro? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Somebody hit his head, bro. Please, somebody hit him. Somebody hit him, bro. Please, thank you. No more deaths. All right, I lost six Pikmin there. That's, like, not the worst, right? It's not ideal, but not terrible. Yo, what is this? We got a glove. Well done, Captain Alomar. You've defeated that freakish half-bird, half-serpent hybrid. Oh no, don't tell me. That treasure was ingested by that beast, wasn't it? That ship is not gonna be happy about that shit. And, uh, let's just get some heads on this bird. Yo, what do we have now? A hundred Pocos. Alright, that's a little better. The five-man knapsack. This material looks comfortable. I will use it to patch the boss's favorite sleeping bag. Seam test conclusive, cross-stitching successful, the knapsack is complete. When you have an unoccupied time interval, press and hold X to take a nap. Except that I, like, never use that shit, but that's okay. That whole-ass bird was worth ten pokos, bro. We're leaving. We're getting out of this place. But look at all this look at all this stuff though all, all of it was worth absolutely like nothing though only 590 pokos that's like not that much for all, for seven treasures like none of these are worth anything bro 